I welcome to your support materials related to session five. We're looking at the five whys here. Um, this document is in support of giving you more background and briefing to the activity we covered with the two businesses. So you can see here is if you scroll down, I'm going to scroll you down. The first thing we looked at was that this very fast, quick history, as I'm showing you here. Uh, we looked at um, the case of the burlock, burlock, which is that little thing that sticks to the dog's furs, and we saw the micro hooks that uh, George de Mestro, which is the inventor of Velcro, he actually put this under a microscope and he realized that these tiny microscopic hooks indicated here with the arrow were the ones which were causing it to stick to the dog fur, and from that, from that first why. He actually discovered the reason why behind the actual micro hooks. So the why is a very powerful tool. One why can discover something, or you can go through a process of many whys. Let me just go through a couple of more examples. I'd ask you to have a read of the Cheerios example. Um, they went through a couple of whys. Why this particular parent decided to choose this cereal. Have a read through that. That's quite really quite a good thing to look at. In addition, let's have a look at more things here. So that carries on with the case of Cheerios. We looked at um, there's various debates about the Kodak Instant Film. Again, you have to look at um, the fact that. Yes, there was various technologies before, but it was the fact that someone, this, the child of the chemist, an engineer who actually put together the final film that you stripped away and it revealed it, was actually the one who actually pushed that process to through whys and whys and whys to be able to reveal that. So it's not only just good for looking at um, customer hidden and unarticulated needs or barriers, but also for product development, product innovation. Um, I also have a guide, so it just takes you to the five wise method. Again, have a read through that. It just takes you to the whole kind of sequence and the whole structure of how to use it, okay? So this is useful for you to start doing it in your own spare time when you're gonna address your business. So we have all the stuff in here. I just pause the video, but all this useful stuff is here. Then um, getting under your customer skins, which is with the exercise and activity which we're doing now. Uh, five ways to get under their skin and understanding why they're not buying. Okay, we have a, we are looking at that, exploring that right now. So this guideline is here for you to have a look at. Um, we actually getting in touch with the kind of the customer's emotional fingerprint. What is it when it comes to clustering? What are the things that actually stopping customers' perceptions, as we've seen, perceptions, misconceptions, misunderstandings of concepts, of communication, of what your business is about? It is really, really essential to crack these. Okay. So just bear with me as I'm going down. And then I have, of course, I have all the benefits and the research and all the other bits and conclusion and some of the references here. So have a play with that. Um, just giving you kind of um, comfort with the fact that you have this to work with now and you're really all this, all this stuff is silently within you. You've got this stuff and these are just thinking tools and frameworks to hook and hang your thinking, guide your thinking, unfold your thinking, and push your thinking in different avenues. That's the whole reason I introduce all these models in the stuff of the of the of the workshop of the actual course that is unstructured, because I come from the business development background. I've had to use these tools over the years in support of other organizations in in other kind of lives I've lived in this area. So enjoy, you're doing really well. Just sustain that effort, kind of push yourself a bit more. Try to use this time with us together. 
as an actual um, kind of getaway. So this is our time together to really explore and unfold the businesses and uncover all the psych psychological, emotional and social things that will actually help us develop better communications and then therefore use social media and the social media tools more effectively. So thank you for listening.